Protests against police brutality are continuing to spread and intensify in the United States as demonstrators demand for justice. What do we want? Justice! What do we want now? In Los Angeles, the National Guard was seen patrolling the streets and scores of demonstrators who stayed out after the city's curfew were arrested. Clashes between protesters and police and looting of some stores in New York City gave way to a relative silence by the night's end. Although rallies on behalf of George Floyd and other victims of police brutality have been largely peaceful during the day, after dark, each night crowds have turned to yachting, vandalism, arson and looting. Thousands of protesters in Portland, Oregon and a handful in Los Angeles, California on Tuesday evening laid down on the ground with their hands behind their backs, demanding justice for George Floyd. In Portland, thousands of protesters marched peacefully to the city's Burnside Bridge, where they laid down with their hands behind their backs for nine minutes, as many repeated the phrase, I can't breathe, a rallying cry echoing the dying words of George Floyd. Hours after the curfew was imposed on Tuesday night, some protesters continued to march in Manhattan, Brooklyn and other parts of the New York City. Police made several arrests in Manhattan as they urged people to move on. According to the New York City Police Department, at least 200 protesters were arrested during a protest on Tuesday evening. Members of the New York Police Department engaged in an angry confrontation Tuesday with journalists covering protests across the city. Don't be like that. Respect the press. They grabbed innocent people for no reason and just started, like, cuffing them, pushing them to the ground. This dude, was a, he's a journalist and a press. He has a press pass, and they pushed him to the ground. At a leafy Seattle intersection, protesters crowded together to listen to speeches. Elsewhere in the nation's capital, demonstrations lack the tensions of previous nights. Um, you know, there's a lot of um, racial injustice in our country. It's very ingrained in the, in the roots of our country. Um, the police violence, um, you know, the street violence against minorities, um, it's all a result of that. In the early hours of Wednesday, police shot tear gas at protesters near the White House as demonstrations continued across the country for the ninth consecutive day.